So another topic that we have a series of questions on, um, you know, obviously the markets are discounting a recession, or it sure, sure seems like it. The, you know, the question a lot of people are asking is, how big a drawdown, shallow or deep? Um, what do you guys yeah. see from the incoming data? And, you know, obviously, if you look at China, which has sort of gone through the economic shutdown, the data there is you know beyond horrific. Um, Starbucks saying comps in China down 50 percent. I don't know if we'll have the same kind of shutdown in the U.S., but the scenario yeah. of economic drawdown is pretty meaningful. Yeah, and and and, and there are a couple parts of this, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's discounting a recession, okay, maybe, probably, but also discounting this thing. A lot of you haven't asked about because I could see the Q2 that it was one motherfucker of a stock market bubble we just had. You get that? Comprende, muchachos, eh? Tesla, what it was doing in middle February, not normally. No, there's like a lot going on here. Crashes come from places. They come from places where people are complacent, bulls, capitulatory in terms of bears. Bears threw up their hands, I can't short stocks again. Hedge funds went to their biggest gross long position in February. Gross long. And the, and the positions that they own are all the same. Yeah, I'm talking about the big gross market value of the big cap stocks. So again, it's not just that. And, and guess what? It's beyond my pay grade to get the level right. Daily, I can give you a level to point to. That's the whole point of the risk range. But over my dead body, am I going to say, there's a point down there in the valley where I'm going to go down there and do that? No, 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 no. It's more about time and space. So the stock market can go down 30, 40, 50%. I don't know. And neither do you. That's why you're asking me the question. But every day, I give you a probable range on where it could go next. So this is a real important thing, Josie. We talk about it internally, and I had this discussion with Andrew Friedman today uh, because he's, you know, uh, for those of you that don't know, DJ is the director of research, so he's got this guy on, the re on his research team, our research team by the name of Andrew Friedman, who's hosting a conference call today on why you should stay short Google and Facebook. Yep. Right? Is that at 12.30 or something? Yep. Uh, and what Friedman said on the call was, like, I actually don't know how bad the numbers are going to be. And I said, thank you for saying that. But you know what he has right? The direction. Get the direction right, and then all you have to do is literally measure and map like I do. You can see my daily risk ranges on Facebook and Google. It says bearish trend. For today, that's where I think they can go. Tomorrow, we'll say it again. It's only some asshole on Wall Street that's going to give you some level. And it's usually a round level, right? Oh, we're going to 2200 on the S&P 500. Why is it 2200? Like that, it, it, you just told me that you don't use a dynamic, modern mathematical tool to, again, dynamically and predictively measure and map risk ranges. Like the number's not going to be 2,000. It could be 1,986, and we'll be very specific on that. Today, our number is uh, 2581. 20, so I think that's the most important thing, is conditionally, we're dealing with this. We are negative. We are positioned properly. We gross up the positions when they bounce on the short side. We gross up bond positions when bond yields bounce. We gross up gold positions when gold corrects. You know, we cover shorts in our core quad four shorts when they correct. We don't wake up every day and say, well, this is where the, the, the thing could go. Like you could literally like listen to holy moly Mike Santoli. He'll draw a chart to the prior low and he'll say, well, maybe that's it. Like my, you know, all my kids are at home being homeschooled today. They could do that, all of them, including my, my five-year-old. That's this is not useful, right? Again, you got to deal with the prevailing conditions, the nonlinearity of it all, and embrace it. You don't know, but you get the direction right. 